for the leader a psalm of David. How blessed are those who care for the poor. When calamity comes, Yahweh will save them. Yahweh will preserve them, keep them alive, and make them happy in the land. You will not hand them over to the whims of their enemies. Yahweh sustains them on their sickbed. When they lie ill, you will make them recover. I said, Yahweh, have pity on me. Heal me, for I have sinned against you. My enemies say the worst about me. When will he die and his name disappear? When they come to see me, they speak insincerely. Their hearts, meanwhile, gathering falsehoods. Then they go out and spread bad reports. All who hate me whisper together against me, imagining the worst about me. A fatal disease has attached itself to him. Now that he lies ill, he will never get up. Even my close friend, on whom I relied, who shared my table, has turned against me. But you, Yahava, have pity on me. Put me on my feet so I can pay them back. I will know you are pleased with me if my enemy doesn't defeat me. You uphold me because of my innocence. You establish me on your presence forever. Blessed be Yahweh, the God of Israel, from eternity past to eternity future. Amen, amen. For the leader of Meskil, of the, of the descendants of Korach, just as a deer longs for running streams, God, I long for you. I am thirsty for God, for the living God. When can I come and appear before God? My tears are my food day and night. While all, while all day people ask me, where is your God? I recall as my feelings well up within me, how'd I go to the crowd, the house of God, with, sh with sounds of joy and praise from the thrones observing the festival. My soul, why are you so downcast? Why are you groaning inside of me? Hope in God, since I praise him again for the salvation that comes from his presence. My God, when I feel so downcast, I remind myself of you in the land of the Arden, on the peaks of Har Harmon, from the hill Mizar. Deep is calling to deep at the thunder of your waterfalls. All your surging rapids of waves are sweeping over me. By day, Yahava commands his grace, and at night his song is with me as a prayer to the God of my life. I say to God, my rock, why have you forgotten me? Why must I go about mourning under pressure by the enemy? My adversaries taunt me. My adversaries taunt makes me feel as if my bones were crushed, crushed. And they ask me all day long, where is your God? My soul, why are you so downcast? Why are you groaning inside of me? Hope in God, since I will praise him again for being my savior and God. Judge me, God, and please my plead my cause against a faithless nation. Rescue me from those who deceive and from those who are unjust. For you are the God of my strength. Why have you, thr why have you thrust me aside? Why must I go about mourning under pressure by the enemy? Send out, send out your light and your truth. Let them be my guide. Let them lead me by your holy mountain to the places where you live. Then I will go to the altar of God, to God, my joy and delight. I will praise you on the lyre, God, my God. My soul, why are you so downcast? Why are you groaning inside me? Hope in God, since I will praise him again for being my Savior and God. For the leader, by the descendants of Korach, a maskil, God. We heard it with our ears, our fathers told us about it, a deed which you did in their days back in days of old. With your head, you drove out nations to plant them in the land. You crushed peoples to make room for them. For not by their own swords did they conquer the land, nor did, did their own arm give them victory. Rather, it was your right hand, your arm, and, your, and the light of your face because you favored them. God, you are my king. Command complete victory to, for Yaakov. Through you pushed away our foes. Through your name we trampled down our assailants. For I don't rely on my own bow, nor can my so sword give me victory. No, you saved us from our adversaries. You put to shame those who hate us. We will boast in our God all day and give thanks to your name forever. Yet now you have thrust us aside and disgraced us. 
you don't march out with our armies. You make us retreat from the adversary, and those who hate us plunder us at will. You have handed us over like sheep to be eaten and scattered among all the nations. You sell your people for a pittance and don't even take profit on the sale. You make, an object, you make us an object for our neighbor to mock, one of scorn and derision to those around us. You make us a byword among the nations. The peoples jeer at, jeer at us, shaking their heads. All day long my disgrace is on my mind, and shame has covered my face at the sound of those who reveal an insult at the sight of the enemy bent on revenge. Though all this came, to, came on us, we did not forget you. We, did not, we have not been false to your covenant. Our hearts have not turned back, and our steps did not turn away from your path. Though you pressed us on into a lyre of jackals and covered us with a death-dark gloom, if we had forgotten the name of our God or spread out our hands to a foreign God, wouldn't God have discovered this since he knows the secrets of the heart? For your sake, we are put to death all day long. We are considered sheep to be slaughtered. Wake up, Yahava! Why are you asleep? Rouse yourself. Don't thrust off us forever. Why are you turning your face away, forgetting our pain and misery? For we are lying flat in the dust. Our bodies cling to the ground. Get up. Come help us. For the sake of your grace, redeem us. For the leader set to lilies by the descendants of Korach, a maskil, a love song. My heart is stirred by a noble theme. I address my verses to the king. My tongue is the pen of his expert scribe. You are the most handsome of men. Glorious speech flows from your lips. For God has blessed you forever. Warrior, strap your sword at your thigh. Gird on your splendor and majesty. In your majesty, succeed. Ride on in cause of truth, meekness, and righteousness. May your right hand teach you awesome things, your arrow, your arrows are sharp, the people fall under you. As they penetrate the hearts of the king's enemies, your throne God lasts forever and ever. You rule your kingdom with a scepter of, of equity. You love righteousness and hate wickedness. Therefore God, your God, has anointed you with the oil of joy in the presence of your companions. Your robes are all fragrant with myrrh, olives, and cassia. From ivory places, string instruments bring you joy. Daughters of kings are among your favorites. At your right stands the queen of gold from Ophir. Listen, daughter, think, pay attention. Forget your own people and your father's house. The king will desire your beauty, for he is your lord, so honor him. Then the daughter of Dor, the richest of peoples, will court your favor with gifts. Inside the palace, the, the king's daughter looks splendid tire and checker work embroidered with gold and brocade, she will be led to the king, to you, with the virgins in her retinue. They will be led in the gladness of joy, and they will enter the king's palace. You will have sons to succeed your ancestors, and you will make them princes in all the land. I will make your, na your name known through I will make your name known through all generations. Thus the people will praise you forever and ever.